name is uh, Mohamed Yamama. I'm the Windows Phone Technical Evangelist for uh, Microsoft uh, Middle East and Africa. Um, this session is like the seventh session of the of the, of the internship series, uh, Windows Phone series that we're we've, we've started in early September, I guess. Um, today we're going to talk about tiles and uh, notifications. Um, uh, and uh, you know, um, so 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 the, the session is split in, into these two parts: styles and notifications. Um, that's my Twitter handler, m underscore mm. Please follow me if you have uh, if you want to uh, um, stay up to date to the latest Windows Phone news, or you'd like to uh, share with me anything. This is my Twitter handler, and this is my blog. Uh, please subscribe to my blog. Um, I, I keep posting Windows Phone stuff. There's one post that I'm preparing to and to hopefully launch and post uh, in the next couple of days maximum. Um, so um, let's even before getting started with these with the uh, with uh, with the slides. Let me start even with a demo, not 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 a real demo, but um, hold, hold on a second. Okay, allow. So let me share the screen with you. So that's my phone. I hope you can all see it. Yep, that's me. Okay, you, you can all see it. I guess. So as you can see, this is the this is a this is the live Windows Phone uh, device with a video out support just uh, you know uh, for for uh, for us internal here. Um, so today's session is about tiles. As you all can see from Windows Phone, we have got like this unique uh, design, which is the tiles uh, versus icons on, um, um, on on other devices, uh, be it Android, be it um, iOS, BlackBerry, whatever devices it is. Windows Phone has that unique thing, which is called live tiles. The live tiles, as you all know, it's um, or if you don't know, it's the live tiles. The good thing about live tiles, it shows you information about the application without opening it. So, for example, as you can see here, this is my calendar application, and um, I don't have to open my, the calendar to know what's in, uh, what's my next meeting is. So, as you can see on the calendar, I have a Mia Windows Phone Online series from September till December, and th that's the timing for the uh, 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 for the session, and appears on my live tile without even opening the application. Uh, tiles have uh, three sizes. Um, like the the medium and the the small and the medium and the large, um, the, there are three uh, tile templates. We're going we're going to talk about that. Um, the good th you can uh, you can you can always uh, uh, have a, a tile for, for any application has an, uh, there are two types of tiles uh, an application tile and a secondary tile. The application tile is the uh, is is comes it's it's a default. No application you can have uh, can be there without a, without having an application tile. So for example, like let's take um I don't know Foursquare. So if I just press the four square, I can pin it to start, and on the start screen, I'll have the the, the four square uh, tile. I can resize it. Um, if it's opposed to three sides, oh, I unpinned it. But I can resize it. I can move it around in, the, in on my screen. Uh, I can get updates. You can do whatever you want with these tiles. And the secondary tiles, um, these are uh, so tiles are kind of shortcuts, right? So if the application tile. So for example, let, again, let's do the four square one. The application tile. It, it's a kind of a shortcut to the f to the default page on your application. So opening whatever app it, it, it does, so the application tile should start the application from the beginning, right? So as you can see here on the Foursquare app. Um, what about the secondary tile? So if you go to the People Hub, for example, you can find a lot of things here. Um, that's me. You can find like, for example, I can get uh, one of my friends here, uh, whatever he is, like um, you know, Aben. That's my manager. I can, you know, I, I talk to Aben a lot, so I can just, you know, pin to start. So when I pin my, my, my manager to start, I get uh, the latest um, notifications from him. I can make him small, big, I can move him up, down, uh, whatever, however I want. And the good thing about that, that secondary tile, it saves a lot of time and effort. So if I just click on him, I'll just, it, it's kind of a deep link or a shortcut to his profile in my People Hub. Right, so I just can call him SMS, you know, write on his Facebook, mention him on Twitter, send him an email, or what have you. Th this is something that you can do. Like th check what's the the news. Every all of these things you can do with the um, um, with, with this secondary tile. So instead of opening the People Hub and you know going to the search and searching for your friend, you can just pin or for example your fiance if you're if you're engaged or your wife or your you know your your best friend. You can just pin them to the start screen so that you save time and you and you can get the latest updates from them on the um, um, on the tile. So if he sent me an, a message, I could I should find like a one uh, account of one uh, on the um, uh, on the tile here. Uh, 
So, um, so this is how secondary tiles are and the and the application tiles. There are lots and lots of usages for that. So, if you, for example, if you take a look at uh, a news app with a sports section, and then you know, um, um, you know, a, a team uh, like, for example, the Eng English Premier League, and inside that there is a you know list of uh, of teams there. Giving, like, for example, Manchester United, for uh, like that's what I'm a fan of. You can just, you know, in, instead of opening the news application, going to the sports section, going to the uh, English Premier League, um, uh, going to the English Premier League uh, league there, you can find that, uh, and then checking your your Manchester United, for example, <laughs> your Manchester United, uh, for example, um, uh, team as um, as the team you'd like to get like the latest results or what have you. Uh, then, uh, then you can just pin that to the start screen, and then you know get the latest updates, and then you know check it uh, uh, once at a time. Uh, so this is the this is the notion of uh, application tile and the secondary tile, and and the, and the great thing about Windows Phone, which is you know gives you this kind of glance and um, and and quick. Um, um, uh, um, give you a quick um, uh, introduction to the to the data right away without you know having to do these uh, this kind of uh, time wasting if you would say uh, mechanism like having to go through each and every thing. It's a very good user experience that you should all uh, include in your applications if if it needs to. <clears throat> so um, today's agenda we're covering the first two. Um, Tiles in Windows Phone 8. We're going to talk about the uh, tiles in Windows Phone, Phone 8. And there are local tiles API, uh, updating tiles from shell tile schedule. We're not covering that, but I just wanted to to make sure that you can update the tiles from the shell tile schedule. And there's also updating tiles from background agent. We're going to cover that in the, our next session next week, which is about background agents. Um, so let's start talking about tiles again. Let's uh, in the slides. Um, so Windows Phone has this unique ability to provide the end user glanceable access to the to the information they care most about uh, via the live tiles. Uh, you can you can update the live tile uh, locally or um, uh, th uh, through uh, uh, or on a timely basis through a push notification. Uh, for example, if you are if you have WhatsApp, if you are an email or whatever things you uh, you have, then you need uh, you need to push the uh, uh, you need to, to get the notification to the user um, on a timely basis. And the best way for you, or the best friend for you, is known as the uh, push notification. And we're going to cover that in uh, uh, later in the session. So again, tiles they are shortcuts to the applications. All applications have at least one tile, known as the default tile or the application tile. Uh, it's created by user the, when you pin the, the application to the start screen, uh, uh, exactly as I showed you in the demo. You can just, you know, once you click on it, you go to the main page. Applications can have create secondary tiles, as we've uh, we've just shown in the uh, um, as we've just shown in the uh, uh, People Hub application. You can create that programmatically. Uh, you can launch to any page in your application as a deep link to that page. You can even pass parameters if you want. Uh, we're going to uh, to um, uh, to talk about that uh, also uh, uh, later in the session. Tiles can be static or dynamic in terms of you know you can just have a tile that shows nothing, or you can have a tile that keeps changing like pictures or uh, notifications or what have you. The ways you can update the tiles, uh, either through um, application code or through a background agent, which will be covered next uh, session, or through push notifications, which will, will be covered um, uh, later in the session. In Windows Phone 7.1, if, uh, if you are familiar with Windows Phone 7.1, we've got only one tile si size for third-party apps, which is the white uh, tile. So tile templates and tile sizes, we've got three tile sizes, which is the, the small, the medium, and the wide, or large, whatever you would like to, to call it. And th these are the sizes. What about the templates? We've got three templates, flip, iconic, and cycle. Um, the, the, the flip is the one is, uh, which flips you know, upside down. Uh, it's the, uh, this is the first one. This is the flip uh, tile. It contains a count. It contains a, a, a it contains the account, it contains, um, 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 you know, a, a background uh, text, text, contains a picture, it contains a title. Um, what about the iconic? Iconic is uh, is the tile, the tile template that uh, abides to the Windows uh, phone design principles. So if you check the uh, the 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 the, uh, the application that comes with your Windows phone device, if you already have a Windows phone device, you, for example, you take a look at the messages, the email, um, the settings, whatever you have, you'll find this kind of iconic. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, image will be there, and, and this large number uh, or the count uh, number will be in, uh, compared to the flip or the, to the cycle uh, to the cyclic. What about the cycle uh, template? It cycles through up to nine images. Uh, these are local URIs as well. So that's the um, you can, for example, you can do like a photo album or whatever you can you would like to do through um, uh, through this style. 
uh, template. Um, any questions? Mama, would you please? Uh, yes, I have a question. Would you please repeat that ionic and flip? Okay, thank you. Uh, for the flip, okay, f uh, flip. Let me actually show it to you in the phone. Um, hold on a second. I just don't think I have it. So um, let me just share it to you. So here you are. So as you can see, for example, the uh, the cloud application I have here. This one is uh, is ha has a flip. Um, it's a flip tile. So that if I make it a little bit bigger, it should flip from up upside down. Let me wait a second. Flip. This one is not flipping actually. Yeah, here it is. So have you seen? It's it's just flipped. This is the flip uh, tile. It's just a template that you'd like to, you, may, you might like to use, and the number on, uh, or the count on that template is um, is like in, you know the the white uh, the white number uh, in a in a in a in a dark uh, black circle. So this is how the yes. how how this flip is. The iconic is like the uh, the one you have for the messages here. As you can see, th this this one um, I have ten um, uh, uh, ten messages. The icon is a little bit bigger. It's uh, it it abides with the Windows Phone design principles. Unlike that, you just put a logo, but this is kind of uh, you know the white uh, uh, the, the white one you have. It's uh, it looks like exactly like you know you know the uh, the, uh, the the metro. Uh, uh, um, you know, in the metro stations, when you go to the metro stations or you go to the an airport, or for example, you can find the uh, um, the the, uh, the, uh, the guidelines or the the uh, the icons that tells you you know taxis whatever you think it's it's in that shape and it's in that, in that format which is the Windows Phone design principles uh, inspiration came from so it's you have a bigger you have a bigger number you have a uh, an icon that's kind of you know very everyone when he sees it he knows what's that about right so that's um, that's what you do with the Windows Phone design um, iconic tile the cycle is it's just you know normal ones looks it looks a little bit like the flip but it's not the flip you can you can cycle uh, uh, through up to nine uh, images at a time um, questions please use the IM if you have any questions thank you welcome okay um, for the tile content um, so every tile is, uh, is built up from a fixed set of data properties. Uh, it can be text elements, count elements, and image elements. These are the the, the ones that are. Uh, this is the fixed set of data properties per, per each tile. Um, you can change as a as a developer. Uh, you can change that. So the the content that, that displays depends on the template you choose and the tile size. You don't need to change everything in your tile or update everything on the tile. Um, not all elements used used in old templates. Uh, so it depends on how you'd like to, to do it. Uh, there are three resolutions that you can use. So uh, we've got the WXGA resolution image sizes. So uh, this, these are the sizes for the WXGA, which is the, the kind of the, the, the highest resolution. This is the size small and medium and, and wide. Uh, you might want to check that one for the um, when, whenever you're creating the artwork for your application. Um, however, you, you do not have to create uh, others for the WBGA and the 720p. Um, Unless you are a pixel perfect person, you, you can you can create the uh, the the other the other ones as well. Um, okay, for the iconic tile, we don't need, we don't have a wide. That's because in the iconic tile, we use the same uh, icon here as 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 the ones used in the, in the small one. So you don't need a um, a wide image for that one. Okay. Um, moving on to the flip tile template. So it, so the flip tile template it flips from the front to the back. Uh, and and this is a kind of a breakdown of, of how it looks like. So we've got this is a small image, uh, small background image. Uh, whenever you create an object for the flip tile, uh, uh, for for a flip, for a flip tile, you can fill any of these ones in gray. You know these ones in gray. You can fill them as in, in a, uh, for, uh, for, uh, as a developer. Like you can set the small background image. You can set the background image. You can set the back background image, which is the uh, the one when the when the uh, when the tile flips. There's also a back content that you can set. You can add like for example like su a summary or a notification uh, the first part of a message um, or what have you you can also have a title you can rename that title um, and you can of course update the count oh and there's the wide background image that you can also update the wide back content the back title it's very very straightforward um, just for you to know the small size does not flip okay so the small size does not flip only the medium and the uh, wide ones uh, flips from front to back and what about the cycle tile template? The cycles it cycles between one to, uh, from one to nine images. Uh, so the, uh, so as it, and these are the uh, the uh, 
the, the thing that you can change for uh, in, in whenever you create a cycle a cycle tile uh, object, these are the uh, um, the properties you can change: the small background image, the count, the title, and the cycle images uh, up to nine local image uh, URIs. And for the iconic tile template, again it displays a small image in the center of the tile, which is reflect the Wonderspoon design principles. It's the same. This small icon image is the same one used in the white. Uh, version small icon image you can change the title icon image which is the larger one or used in the medium sized tile and then the count of course you can update that a background color you can update that one as well you've got three white co uh, content uh, which is like in a kind of a if you if you would say three sentences or three lines that you can update so these are the properties you can it's very very straightforward depends on the uh, on the tile size oh sorry depends on the tile size or the, or the tile template you can update and uh, for your for your application um, okay so again uh, just a uh, quick summary we've got a, a primary and secondary tiles for um, um, for our applications the uh, the application tile it's 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 the default one again it can be created when the user taps and holds the application name in the application lists and then selects pin to start uh, uh, in his application. Um, oh, sorry for that. So the tile template properties set initially in the application manifest. I will show you to do that um, right away. Um, this template cannot be changed uh, pr programmatically. You can you just uh, set that once and then you know it stays for, with you. Um, the secondary tile it can be created only as the result of a user input, right? So th you can you, you can uh, uh, like we've shown in the uh, in the people hub when we when we pin the uh, the uh, you, when you can pin your friend or your, or your, or this person uh, you, you you contact uh, most you can just you know you, so you so this secondary tile is only created once you, you do that pin and then you all you have to do is handle that kind of a pin or or kind of a um, uh, uh, a click on the bottom of uh, to create that secondary tile we're going to, we're going to show that in uh, in the next demo uh, right away um, so. So you can you define the application tile. Uh, you all you have to do is, is put the images um, in the. Uh, you can just, you know you put the the, the tile uh, the images and the assets on the tiles for example or whatever you whatever you want to do. But you just put that here and then once you you do that you replace these. Actually, whenever you create an uh, a project in your Windows Phone uh, a Windows Phone project in Visual Studio, you you get this kind of as as a, a default template. Uh, you can just you know replace these ones with the images you'd like to use. Um, uh, with your own artwork, uh, defining the application tile in the application manifest, you, you know you only have to du double click on the Windows Mobile app manifest.xml, and then you know, um, and you can you know just browse and and replace these images if you want, and then you can check if you want the application to support for larger uh, tiles or not, and which what is the tile template you'd like to uh, use in your application. Um, do I have a question here? I think the people app is a unique tile that is not available to use. Um, yes. Okay, that, that was a question. Ah, okay. It's at, at least it's not available by the. Um, yeah, it's it's not available to use. It's it's just it's 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 really a unique tile. May, maybe there's something that you can do inside an application from design perspective, but as a tile, um, so far it's it's just it's a unique one, as Ramon mentioned. Uh, so we have a question here. For example, we have published our application on a store with a static tile, and its color is red. Okay, I'm not sure is that a question. I want to change the color. Uh, you can do that. Yeah, whatever you want. There are lots of things that you can do. We'll just do that in the demo. If you wait, Osama, and then you can ask the same question after we do the demo. So just I'm sorry, give me a couple of minutes, and then we'll do that demo right in front of you. Telerik controls have that type of tile control. Um, I haven't went through all Telerik controls, but uh, what I'm saying is you cannot do that in the, uh, in the in the available SDK. I mean, like in the in the Windows Phone 8 SDK, you don't have that uh, available for you. A third party, um, I haven't I haven't gone through that one. So um, so let's let's go through how to create the application tile, and then we do the the whole the, the both both demos, the application and the secondary together. So you use secondary tiles to place on the start screen a tile that is relevant to a particular event or some you know a feature of your app. 
like as we mentioned like if you want to pin your your favorite team um, or you would like to uh, pin your favorite friend on, on the start screen to get the updates without you know having to to uh, to open the application through the normal uh, path that you would uh, you would follow so uh, so for local uh, tile updates you have a full control of, uh, of all properties when you're up in the foreground or in the background uh, you can manage the secondary tiles through the create update and delete uh, methods uh, the, ma the secondary tiles can launch directly to a page or a, a deep link actually into, into your application. This is the code you need for creating tiles. Okay, so you all you have to do is creating an object of the tile. So whether it's a flip tile or an iconic or a, or a cycle the tile data, you can just you know create this object and, with that, and within this uh, object you, you just you know um, assign the values that you'd like to update. For example, on, on, uh, you, you can just change the title. You don't have to put to put them all, by the way. You, you just you can just pick one. Uh, you can put you can update them all if you want. So you can update the title, the background image. You have to put an image, of course, and the small background image. And what about the back uh, the back of the of the tile of the tile? There's a back title, back content, a back background image. You know, it's a very it's a simple assign to the uh, the, the this property, like a string to a string, an image to an image, and a URI to an image, and and so forth. Very, very, um, uh, very straightforward. Once you create that object and set the properties you'd like to, you can do, all you have to do is, you know, uh, from the uh, shell tile class we have, you create and uh, you just you, you press shell tile, you, uh, you shell tile dot create, and then uh, you put the new URI, which is the kind of the you, how you'd like this tile to to get to. Uh, uh, to take you to, to so this is the URI of the tile which means that if you open the application you will go to the recipe page right away not to the main page and then and then you're, you're passing a parameters from tile so that you can if you would like for example to check whether you're you're, mo you're coming from the tile or uh, through a normal um, um, uh, page navigation and then you know for example if you uh, and then you know uh, do the, uh, the whatever kind of um, uh, behavior uh, if you want, and then there, there's the tile data and the truth, which is the support for the uh, for the tile sizes, and then the tile data, which is the the the, the properties that you would like to uh, include in the uh, in, in this tile that you'd like to create, and then you're done. What about updating the tile? So you have to create a, an object of the shell tile, and then and this object you check in the, your uh, active tiles. If if you just press first or default and just and just uh, uh, close this bracket, then uh, then uh, you're you're selecting the first. Um, or the full tile you are having, which means that is, this is the application tile. You can update that application tile. And once you find it, so, and, and then if the tile was found, which means that the tile to find is not equal null, you can just create an object and then that object of the same, um, if you're talking about the application tile, then it has to be the, of the same, uh, um, uh, of, of the same, uh, the, the, it has to be the same class. So if it's a flip, you have to create an object of flip tile. If it's an icon, then you have to uh, to create an icon uh, tile data. If it's cycle and what have you, and then you just put the the property you want to update, and then you know tile to find it update, and you just put the the new uh, uh, the, the new tile data you you've just um, um, created. Okay. And and this means that the tile to find, which is pointing to the application tile, you're updating it with the uh, these values in the title with the new title you're assigning. Okay. So the, so for example, here is what you can do within um, with with the application tile. You just first or act uh, first or default. You, you know, creating an if if your application tile is an iconic. I'm sorry. There's a problem with my mouse. There's a pro uh, uh, and then you create an object of the iconic uh, tile data, and then you know assign whatever values you want, and then the main tile that you've pointed to, which is the uh, you're pointing to the application tile, you just update that with the tile data you've you've created. But the 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 other um, uh, actually this should have come. I think I have a problem with the um, uh, with the tiles. Th this one you, we are we are we are targeting the secondary tile that we've created, right? Which is the which which is uh, which is known by the default title equals from tile. This is the unique ID per um, per secondary tile you might have. So, for example, if you have if if you have a list of uh, people on, on, on the, in your people hub, and uh, for every one uh, you have a certain name, so you can give that name in your in your tile, so that when you look for that tile and you want to update it, you can just find it in this uh, in the navigation URI. Okay. So, when, or actually, when you when you are creating it, so for example, like if um, the people hub, just you know, a quick. Uh, um, a thought that that things might be like, uh, for example, like uh, the uh, the main uh, the my friends .xaml, That's the name of my friend, and I'm passing the, the, his name, for example, in in the default um, um, title. Okay. 
So that's the update that we've seen. Let's actually go to a demo. So if you have any questions, uh, it will be covered th uh, through that demo and, uh, and, and uh, it should make things clearer for you. Um, okay. Okay, sorry guys. Um, so this is a, a very quick, uh, actually where's the main page? Oh, main, main page. Okay, so this is the main page uh, of my application. It has two buttons, change application tile and change the secondary tile. Once you click on the change application tile, it will navigate to the application tile.xaml. Once you click on the secondary tile, it will navigate to the secondary tile.xaml. But I'm just stating I'm, I'm moving to that uh, uh, tile from my main page, okay? Just for, for me to, uh, to know uh, uh, where I'm, uh, am I heading, uh, uh, to, uh, or how I'm activating this page. Am I going through the main page or from um, the secondary tile? So if I go to the application tile, uh, application tile, the XAML part of it, I'll, you know, here's you know a simple UI, you know, a title, text box, and text box. These are the text boxes that I'm, I'm, I'll have when, whenever I create the set application tile properties. Then I'm taking the values in these text boxes and then I'm putting them in the. Um, so here it is. Uh, I'm taking the values in these text boxes, like the count, um, the values of uh, you know the the title, uh, the the count, the background image, the back title, back back background image, the back content, and w once I fill these, I just all I have to do is update that uh, tile. So in my application, what I'm exactly doing, um, I'm I'm creating a pointer, which is the tile to find. I'm pointing to the first tile, first or default, you can just put first. And this means that I'm pointing to the application uh, tile that I'm having. And once I do that, if tile to find not equal null, it should always be not equal null, by the way, because I'm pointing to the application tile, which is, you can't have an application without the application tile. And if it's not equal null, then you know you can cre you create um, a, a new file, a new tile data of the type flip tile data, and then you're putting the, the values you you would like to from gra grabbing these values from the text boxes you're having in uh, your your main your application tile to XAML, these ones. Let me get back, and then after you're done and you know you created that object and you set the properties, you're just you know tile to find which is the, which is pointing to the application tile. We're updating that app tile that we found with this with these uh, set of properties. Um, let's do a quick run here, quick demo. application so for example like whatever um, tile title like demo title and I have like images here like a blue the JPEG green the JPEG you know red the JPEG so I can make the background image actually before even I do that let me pin it to the start so that you see it how it's moving so that's my application I'm pinning it to the start it's got like these uh, images these images came from here the the app manifest the application UI Okay, so I set the the temp the tile the template uh, the template uh, of the tile to be a template flip, and then I've I've taken these pictures uh, uh, as a background uh, image uh, to, uh, to my application. So run it again. Make that bigger. And in the start screen, SDK. Ah, oh, it's already pinned. So here's what I get, right? So the title is SDK tile uh, tile CS, and then this is a picture of a lamp, right? So I can just go. Oh, I'm sorry. I can just go to the SDK tile here, change the application tile, demo title, a background image. I can make it, for example, like blue dot JPEG. You know, count like seven back. You know, maybe the background can be like green.jpg, and back content for demo. Okay. And once I press the set application tile properties, go back. I'm sorry, just uh, press a, a, a long press. So I just go back here. As you can see, it's a blue, the JPEG seven count. The title is changed and should flip to a green. Um, here is a green and back content for demo, and this is the, the change the, the title to be back. Um, any questions for that one? Check. Questions? 
Uh, Terrier controls at that time, yeah, we have to buy it. Um, if you are a Nokia champ, just for, for this question about the Terrier controls, if you are a Nokia champ, as far as I remember, Nokia used to, um, I'm not sure if it's still, I think it's, yeah, it's still working, uh, as far as I remember. Uh, if you are a Nokia developer, uh, Nokia can uh, can give you access to this Terrier controls um, for, for a year for free or something. So do we have a question? They still do, perfect. As far as I know, they still do, yes, Colin. Thanks, Colin, for, the, for confirming. Um, any questions regarding the application tile? Okay, and, uh, and and if you can just you know can just resize that small, you know I did not support the uh, the, the the other sizes in my application. Okay, any questions? Should I move forward? No questions. I'm okay. good. Okay, thanks. Um. Okay, let's take a look at the secondary tile we're having here. So in my, um, oh, where is the secondary tile? So, if, okay, in the secondary tile, uh, where is the secondary tile? Page, um, you know, I have this checkbox. Once I check that checkbox, then you display the secondary tile. So if you go to the code behind here, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the, 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 the shell tile, okay? Um, I'm seeing if this tile already exists or not. So if it's uh, if it's the secondary tile, if it has default title from tile, that means that this uh, navigation URI, that means that the, the, the tile is there. If it's there, that mean, uh, uh, if the tile uh, to find equals equal null, that which means... Uh, so first of all, sorry for that. I'm creating an, a pointer to a secondary tile with the ID default title equals from tile, right? That's the ones I, I specified. If it's if I, if it was created before, if it if it was not there, that means that the tile to find equals equals null, which means that I I have no secondary tiles from my application. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a new tile uh, uh, object of type iconic tile data. You can choose whatever uh, secondary tile you'd like to create, and then I'm putting the same content that I'd like to have and a background color of you know that's just, just like an RGB color for, for for a background just for demoing purposes, and then and then the shell tile I'm I'm creating a new uh, tile for that. So create secondary tile uh, the demo and then default tile uh, equals from um, tile. So this is how you can uh, this is how you create the new tile uh, data. Okay, so this is exactly what happens when you create uh, um, the the secondary tile. You create um, a, an ID for it, which is the URI. What what will happen when you when you press that secondary tile? It will take me to the secondary tile the XAML page with the default tile equals from tile. And it's a relative URI. We've, I think we've covered that in the building Windows Phone app uh, session. And then this is the data we're passing. And this is, w w and this true is that means that we're supporting the white uh, uh, size for the application uh, for this secondary tile. Okay. So what about um, whenever I uncheck the um, the checkbox? That means I'm deleting that tile, right? So I, all I have to do is write, you know, pointing to that tile. If I if I find th this tile. I'll just, you know, tile to find or delete, and then I'm deleting that uh, tile, as easy as that. Okay, so let me, uh, let me give it one more run. So, change secondary tile. If I just press uh, display secondary tile, what will happen exactly is... Oh, checkbox, where was it? Okay. Yeah, it will create a tile for me with these data. So it's just you know another way of doing it. I'm not just hard coding it, like you know demo tile. Or it's in debugging mode. So that's a title. First row of content, second row, third row, because this is a, a wide. Uh, or I, um, uh, so in the background of the iconic tile data, you can put uh, three contents in the background, and and you can just you know you, uh, and just create that one with with that URI. So if I just go again, just press the display secondary tile. Here what you get. 50 count a title and this one should that's a white so it, it does not flip right but what if I do that it should flip it, it gives me the first row of content and the second row of content and the third row of content these are the white content ones that I have just added to my um, uh, uh, to my uh, tile if I open that once I do that one here I should delete it which means I do not find it here it's as easy as that do you have any questions so far? Questions? Questions? Or should should we move to the push notifications? Guys, please use the IM if you have any questions. If you don't, just let me know that so that we move on. Clear. Okay. Thank you, Christian. 
Okay, so let's. Could you please demo the cycle uh, tile? I'm not sure I have <laughs> pictures to demo in the, in the cycle tile. Um, let me. Maybe we can just do it. Um, it's it's just the same thing. All you have to do is just do the content. Um, okay, we have two pictures that we can do in the cycle tile. Um, okay, so maybe for example, like uh, okay, cycle, cycle like tile data. You know, new tile data should give me an error equals new cycle tile data. Um, okay, and just you know, open that. Of course, it's it because I'm giving it um, the same name. So, oh, sorry for that. Ah, uh, okay. So here, here you are. I mean, like these are the things that you need to to do with the cycle data, right? So, what you can you can sign the count, the small background image in the title, and then the cycle um, the cycle images. So it's it's the same thing, the same concept. I I'm not sure if I have the the the, the amount of images to 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 do the old. Uh, the nine images for you, actually. Um, but actually, I will show you exactly the, the code for it in the in the push notifications if you want. But it's the same thing. Okay. So let's um, let's move to the push notifications. Uh, please let me know if you if you have any question before moving to the push notification part. Questions? Should we move? Okay. Perfect. Yes, question, okay. Go ahead, Usama. How we can use, okay, cycle tile. And, oh, I, I just, together? What do you mean by together? Like Facebook uses, you can create secondary tiles of the type you want. I mean, you can, for example, if you want. I'm not sure if, if someone has ever done that. I'm not. I haven't done that even before. But just t take a look on w whenever you want to pin someone to this to the start. You can, for example, put up um, a pin to, um, uh, for example, like pin as um, iconic, for example. And then you pin this person. You create a new tile size for that, and then you create a, a secondary tile with that person as an iconic. And then you can create the same for our, for for cycle. Yes, thank you, Shreve. You can assign one template per tile. You cannot have two two templates per tile, but you can create two tiles with two different templates pointing to the same page. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 